Hey guys, this is Jay here. I'm giving you an update on how far I've gotten on the to grill to kiln project here. Now I put the lid on top of the grill and I attached it on the hinges and everything looks nice. The only thing about it that doesn't work out too great is these hinges back here are quite weak so I cannot let it sit back and rest on it so I have to hold on to it whenever I'm loading bricks into it. But otherwise everything's gone great on here. Uh, I left the middle hole open to make sure I had enough oxygen flow in there and then I had to use a wire brush to clean off all the holes in in the burners on both sides. I fired it up just to make sure it was all, all running and had to brush it off a little more as I gone and got it where it all fires up so it looks pretty good it's got a decent amount of weight to it thermometer works perfectly fine and then I still got the burner on the side for making sodium silicate I'm planning on making quite a decent amount, amount of batches coming up I gotta clean this thing out I left it on the weather and we had a pretty good windstorm so a bunch bunch of debris blew into it and I got myself a nice five gallon pail with a pouring spout in it so I'm planning on making probably about five gallons worth of sodium silicate in the near future for when I plan to work on my new furnace and my next project coming up is I'm planning on building a rocket stove. I picked this up at work for a couple bucks and already cut the hole in the side for it. I'm still planning on using the same refractory mix that I used in the kiln and just do the base on the bottom. I'm going to do a square port in down here and I'll only fill it up to the top hole here and then I'll probably put a block of wood across here to fill it in cover this up when I fill in the top and then run a six inch piece of PVC down there and fill in around it and once it's done he'll be ready so this is Jay signing off later later